Hello everybody and welcome back for another episode of My Chaotic Budget. My name is Sandra and I am here to go over some debt confession. Yes, it's been a while since I've talked about my debt, but I felt it was time since we're almost at the one year mark of when I started my budgeting journey. And I thought I'd share this with you guys. And if you have questions, just make sure you leave them down in the comments down below. And I will try my best to answer them. But I feel good. I feel excited because we've made some tremendous strides in our debt. And I want to share it with you guys. Plus, I'll be confessing some new debts. Well, they're not new. They're old, but they're new to you. <laughs> okay. So I decided to do a little bit of a brain dump here. And I decided to do an updated debt confession. So how many debts have been paid off since I've been on YouTube? So the very first debt that I paid off was when I had to get tires. And I had to get those back in September of 2023. And I paid them off in December of 2023, which was pretty awesome. And then my husband's student loan, we paid that off. That started back again in November, and then we paid it off by January of 2024. And then Affirm, which was a big one. And this one here was um, something that we had done for last summer, and we took out a loan for it, and we were able to pay it off in February. Now, the reason why you'll see January here is because that's when it became the focus. It became the focus in, in January of 2024. And then I was able to pay it off by February of 2024. So this is how the debt snowball was working. So as soon as I was done with the tires, the debt snowball then went to my husband's student loan. And then it went to the Affirm. And then it went to the most recent one, which was Amazon. And the focus of Amazon was from March to May. And we were able to conquer that total amount. And so with all of our debts, of course, these are just the ones that we've been able to track. We were able to pay down a total of $3,918.87. So that's awesome. But here comes the new bills. So these are the bills to be conquered um, by uh, starting here in June of 2024. So here are the balances. So as you all know, if you've been following me, Target is my main one. Target, I'm hoping I can be done with it within four months and I will be doing the debt snowball from the previous debts that we had. The minimum payments are all collected and then I will put that towards the minimum payment of the Target bill. And hopefully within four months, I will be able to pay off $1,948.35. Then the next debt, and I did mention this one as well, this is my Best Buy card. It should take me about seven months to pay off. And this one is a bigger debt. As you can see, it's $3,305.48. The minimum payment is $118, but once we're done paying for Target, we're just going to snowball it. We're going to keep putting those total minimum balances towards the next debt. And hopefully within seven months of starting this one, we will be done with it. Then here's a new one. This is one that I have not shared with you all before. It is Old Navy, Old Navy. I'm hoping that within the nine months from when I get it started, so as soon as I'm done with Target and Best Buy, then I will attack Old Navy. And it's right now its current balance is $5,258.53 with a minimum payment of $190. So I am really, really working towards paying these off. And then the last one that I'm going to share with you guys is a MasterCard that I opened up ooh, so many years ago. I'd say at least 10 years ago. And I have barely touched the surface of paying this thing down. And this one has a balance of $5,887. So this is quite a bit of amount of debt that we need to pay off, but I really, really, really wanted to share it with you guys because I do plan on paying it off. So here's my plan. 
I plan on doing my best to pay a minimum of $500 a month towards Target so that it can be paid off within four months. Once that is paid off, then I will move that minimum of $500 to the new, to the new minimum payment of Best Buy. And then we'll go and we should take seven months. So all in all, the hope is that all of these can be paid within 29 months. And if that is done, I will be so happy because that will be over $700 that we will bring back into our personal income and then we can work towards other debts that we have. But I really felt like I needed to share this with you guys because I've already conquered four debts. And I know, granted, they were smaller amounts, but that's how the snowball method works, is you take the smaller amounts, you pay them off, and then that way you can add them towards the next payment for the next debt that you are focused on. And so I hope that within 29 months I can pay this off or even sooner because you never know, right? We run into a little bit of money, we can pay it off, etc. So that is my updated debt confession. Tell me you guys, if you have a plan for your own debt, I know that the snowball method has been working really well for me and I really, really do want to hit it hard. And hopefully within this next cash stuffing, you'll be able to see how much our snowball is uh, as we get ready to pay our extra debt towards Target. So that's it, guys. Please make sure that you like, you comment, you subscribe, share your debt journey with me, um, your debt free journey, how you plan on getting there. And hopefully, you know, there's some things that we can share amongst each other. All right, guys, I got to go. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.